Diddy's got their revenge by killing a 14-year-old from 051 what? named Fats. Melly was close to Fats, and his murder really affected him. That's how a freaked up girl of mine. Free them though. I'd rather them dead than in jail. People rolled up and shot them both. Killed Trump them. was killed, while Melly miraculously survived once again, even though he was grazed in the head. What? He was really whacking everybody. He whacked King Von. He whacked Dirk Manager. He said, fuck this rap shit. I'm catching bodies. Get that from my mother. Hold that in the show. Hey. Yo, hey, I care about everybody. Get that from my mother. Oh, they die slow. My heart in a puddle. I just drive slow. Free drive. What up, Say Gang, man? It's your boy Say, and I'm back with another reaction today. Listen, before we get into today's reaction, you feel know I me? Mean? Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And also, I know y'all seen my intro, bro. Go subscribe to my other two channels so we can keep going up. Y'all been showing me some love on this channel. You feel me? Let's just keep giving, you feel me, spreading the love and positivity. Positivity. You feel me? Let's just keep going up, bro. And I'm going to keep dropping for y'all, man. It's my dream to do YouTube full time. And we're going to make that happen one day. I don't want to keep talking. Let's go and get into today's reaction. Every fan of Chicago Drill knows the top BD rappers like King Von and Lil Durk. But some oh, of their word. ops are just as famous in the city based on their reputation in the streets. 051 Melly was one of Von and Dirk's main enemy. I ain't gonna lie, back in high school, bro, so many of my friends were so like into like about Chirac music and streets. Me, I was just into the music. Like I was just tuning into the music. Like I never gave a fuck who killed who, who was famous or killing us. I was never in, into that, bro. But their music was definitely hot. I was into the music for sure. Let me know who your favorite uh um artist from Chirac is. Comment down below. And had a reputation as being one of the most feared gang members in Chicago. Let's take a close look at the life of 051 Melly, one of the deadliest shooters in Chirac's history. Melly deadliest? was born Yarmel Williams and came up on the south side of Chicago. He grew up in the Calumet building or Randolph Towers, but eventually moved to 59th in Calumet with his family after the project was tore down. He grew up with his mother, his brother Wu, and his sister Kenya. Wu's father and Melly's stepfather. I ain't gonna lie, all like uh Chicago girls got big ass lips, like it's crazy. I met a lot of Chicago girls. Shout out to all the Chicago girls who's watching right now. And if you from Chicago, let me know what part you're from. Down below in the comment section. Jerome Golden was a well-known BD in Chicago who is currently serving a life sentence for four murders and a robbery. Plus, Jeez. Melly also has several uncles and cousins who were well-connected to the streets, including Mubu, Kurt Mack, and No Limit G Slim, who was one of the founders of NLMB. So Melly was exposed to gangs from a young age, and nearly everyone around him was about that life. But just because your family is well-known in the streets doesn't mean that you'll automatically get respect from them, too. And oh, Melly still had to earn his title as a respected savage. Growing up in the Calumet building, Melly got cool with the BDs. Who Crazy niggas grew up, and the first thing they think about is earning strife to be a savage. What? Niggas crashing. Area. But he would later attend Deucible High School, where he would start mixing in with Mickey Cobras. Melly would get close to a dude named 051 Zico, who was part of the 051 Money Gang. 051 Money Gang is a set that's made up of members of different gangs, including BDs, Black P Stones, and what? Mickey Cobras. So Melly fit right in with all his affiliations. Although Melly started out as a BD, there have also been rumors that he may have switched to Mickey Cobra because 051's main ops are O Block, 600, Lamron, and other BD sets. Melly would get involved in this beef, making him BDK or a renegade. Look at the Mustendo. This nigga had three stripes. Three straps. Out of every thing I heard about Chicago, I see niggas with more guns than I see them with money or living look like a good life. It is hard to make it out the hood. But like, this is what the fuck y'all think about flash and guns and liquor? Like, right, we gotta do better. D for going at war with members of his own gang. What was clear is that Melly rep Young Money so which nine. was considered a renegade squad that lived by their own rules and didn't follow any particular gang. Melly would get even closer to the set after 051 Zico was murked by someone from THF. This was the murder that would turn Melly into a savage and made him turn up in the streets. Jeez. 051 Zico's death would set off a major beef between Young Money and THF with Melly being one of the main aggressors. He would get retaliation for Zico's death in 2010. 
Then, a 600 member named M Thang will kill a member of Young Money named 051 T Streets, setting off a war with 600 and any sets they were allied with. Melly and 051 Kiddo would then get revenge, shooting 600 Shaq on the 5900 block of South Calumet Avenue. So at this point, Melly had a few bodies under his. My nigga look like he been going through it. Y'all see them first cover picture? He look happy than the motherfucker. If you don't stay on your path in life, keep God first, bro. And never get forget who you are. You end up stressing looking like this. Like, yeah, we gonna have our ups and downs, but some shit, you just gotta, one day you just gotta wake up and realize it's time for change, bro. No cap. And would establish himself as a fierce shooter who wouldn't hesitate to hit members of his own gang if they went after his friends. What made Melly so different was that he had connections to various gangs across the city. But when it came time for war, he didn't care who was on the other side. Many claimed that he played the streets like a chess game, paying close attention to who was close with who, stalking his ops on social media, and carefully studying Sheesh. their movements to get the drop on them. After 600 Shaq was killed, the BDs got their revenge by killing a 14-year-old from 051 what? named Fats. Melly was close to Fats, and his murder really affected him, Kill turning his heart older and making him even more of a savage. 051 would start going by the name Fats World after he was killed to honor their fallen brother the way that O-Block did for Odie Perry or Tukaville did for Tuka. Melly's homie 051. That's Tuka. That's what everybody be talking about, Tuka. Never seen what Tuka looked like. But all they heard his name. Kiddo would take part in getting revenge for Fat's death. First, 051 Kiddo would catch 600 tricks lacking in his car in the Washington Park neighborhood of the South Side. Then, a witness claimed to have seen tricks, C Day, and LA Capone from 600 at the scene on the day that Fats was killed. Not long after that, LA Capone would be murdered. I remember when he killed LA. Studio. That was crazy. He was one of the biggest stars from 600 and was just starting to blow up as a rapper. So his death was a serious setback for the crew which would only make things between the BDs and 051 much more heated. Sir y'all don't got arcade, y'all no better promo, get arcade. Blase, blase, arcade blase, has the blase, best blase. in the game. Several dudes from 600 started going at Melly on Twitter and disrespecting facts. Like many street dudes from Chicago, Melly was known for being disrespectful on social media and clapped back at his ops. Members of 600, who were still mourning the death of L.A. Capone, took this disrespect personally, making Melly one of the BDs most hated ops. Soon after, the BDs would get retaliation. At first, 051 didn't have many rappers and were known for getting their payback in the streets rather than in the music. But a rising mm. young money rapper named Lil Mark would earn some clout for sending shots at the BDs, who at that point were much more famous on the music level. Lil Mark dropped a remix of Lil Durk's song, Competition, called No Competition, where he did several members of 600, OTF, Lamron, and other Sheesh. BD sets by name. Still angry over the death of L.A. Capone, the BDs got their revenge pretty quickly, and Lil Mark was killed just three days after dropping the disc. Three days? To make things after even dropping worse, the disc? It's crazy. He really got whacked three days after dropping the disc. Like, that gotta be crazy, bro. Death was then used as a way to mock 051 with members of 300, 600, and OTF joining in to disrespect their homies. The rapper was killed while waiting for a bus. Several BDs posted pictures and videos to social media near the bus stop where he was killed, including Lil Durk, who posted a video at the spot Lil Mark was shot. In the video, he says, this bus stop right here, though, this is a real famous place, with the caption, free THF TP. Bus stop, man. Hey, this, this, hey, 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 this bus stop right here, though, this, this, this is a real famous place, you hear me? This is a real famous place. Hey, this bus what? stop, this is a real famous place. That video would get to Melly, who was close with Lil Mark, and would eventually lead to him to seek revenge on some of the people closest to Durk. A few months later, Melly would watch Dirk's cousin, OTF Nunu, or Nooski, sitting in a parked car I remember when that happened. complex. Nooski was an up-and-coming rapper who had just been signed to Dirk's OTF label a few days before he was killed. He had released a single called OC that was doing major numbers, and he seemed like he might be the next rapper from the South Side to build a buzz. But he never got to realize his full potential. All Dirk cousins and family members, everybody he was signing was getting whacked. Tragically killed was crazy. due to his associations with Dirk. He was sitting in one of Dirk's SUVs at the time, and many think that either Melly thought he was shooting at Dirk, or he just went looking for the rapper and killed his cousin because he was an easier target. Either way, Nooski lost his life, even in the score between 051 and OTF 600 after Lil Mark was killed. Even in the score. But Melly didn't stop there. Less than a year later, 
Dirk's manager, OTF Chino, was shot and killed in a similar situation while sitting in a parked car in the 8400 block of South Stony Avenue. Before he was shot, Chino had appeared in a music video for a song called Bus Stop by THFTP, which was filmed on the spot where Lil Mark was killed. Around the same time, Dirk also sent shots at 051 on a remix to Chief Keeps Finito, where he rapped, I'm riding through the ops, finna go and shoot young money up. Melly clearly wasn't gonna tolerate the disrespect and slid on Chino the first chance he could get. If that Whoa. wasn't bad enough, after Chino was killed, Melly would get on social. Hey, ain't gonna let Melly got it, bro. He really got it. He must have been going through something in Chicago. Like, this nigga was really whacking everybody. He whacked King Von. He whacked Dirk Manager. He said, fuck this rap shit. I'm catching bodies. Yeah, and mock his dead op. Claiming in an IG live session that he was eating a Chino burger. Just let me a piece. Yeah, Chino burger. That's what they said. Melly's homie, Mubu Crump, a GD from King Louie's Man Up Band Up set, would also join in on the disrespect, going to the spot Chino was killed to order a Chino burger, then throw it away. Hey, this motherfucker focus as hell, man. Y'all, this shit ain't done, man. Y'all put this shit back in the burrito, man. This shit disgusting, man. Get this shit together, man. For real, this shit focus as hell, man. Straight yeah. up, man. That made two people close to Dirk, who were killed in his beef with 051, and Melly became the target of his hatred. The rapper dropped several diss tracks aimed at Melly, but at that point, Dirk was taking over the rap game, and Melly was still heavily in the streets. So it wasn't easy for either one to get at each other directly, which is why Melly chose to target Nooski and Chino. It was even rumored that Dirk put a price on Melly's head, which eventually led to him getting hit up. THF Raheem would slide on Melly and two of his homies on the 600 block of South Wentworth oh, so Avenue pop. in the Eaglewood neighborhood. All three would survive, but Melly would catch a bullet to the head and foot. 051 Ario head, who was foot. also hitting the shooting, would quickly get revenge on Raheem. This opened up a whole bunch of problems for Melly and 051. THF Raheem was the blood cousin of FBG Duck and the stepson of another fierce Chirac killer named THF Bezu. Wow. Melly and Duck were known to be tight, but Duck also understood that an op is an op, even if it is a family member. THF Bezu and We gotta get some quick little thumbnails, y'all. I'm trying to teach y'all some sauce. When y'all pay attention, y'all might learn something. Now, I'll be capping on me in the comment section. That thumbnail made you click on this video. When you clicked on this video, I got paid for it. So, like I said, if you watch close enough, you might learn something. They were also ops, but they had mutual respect as rival street legends. They even famously went on IG Lives together and bragged about their body counts while outlining the on IG Live together sets. and y'all hate each other's crazy. Disrespect doesn't equal mercy, and after his stepson was killed, THF Bezu was out for blood. He ended up catching Melly lacking at a house party along with his friend Mubu Crump. The two were standing on the front lawn when the vehicle rolled up and shot them both. Killed Crump them. was killed, while Melly miraculously survived once again, even though he was grazed in the head. What? So that's twice that Melly would survive a headshot, only to be back on the streets, haunting his ops not long after. Although Melly was likely the intended target. For this nigga survived two headshots? What the fuck? He is a motherfucking demon. Two headshots, he's the Reaper. ...being with Ario when they slid on THF Raheem, Crump was also known as this THF and other BDs. He was probably just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and THF decided to take him out for running his mouth and chilling with their ops. Surviving two back-to-back -back shootings only helped Melly's reputation in the streets, and it was only a matter of time before he was back in action. 051 would soon lose another member named Bankroll Q. Melly would be the one to get hey, payback pop. and would slide on the two ops thought to be responsible. But Melly's thirst for revenge couldn't be satisfied, and he just kept racking up bodies on top of bodies while somehow staying out of reach of his enemies. Although he got his payback, he let it be known that he still had a hatred for Dirk and wanted revenge. After Dirk and Vaughn got arrested for attempted murder following a shooting outside the varsity in So this is Dirk's biggest op. That's Dirk's biggest op. That's crazy. Melly went on social media to voice his opinion. He told the world that he hoped Dirk and Vaughn would beat the case because he would rather see them dead than in prison. That's how I free Dirk and Vaughn. Freedom, though. I'd rather them dead than in jail. 
So it seemed like it was only a matter of Whoa. time before Melly would continue his reign of terror and go after another person close to the two rappers. But Melly wouldn't get the chance, and he'd end Sheesh. up losing his life in an unrelated beat. Around that time, Melly had gotten close with a set called Jarl City. Like 051 Money Gang, Jarl City is made up of various different gangs, including GDs and Renegade BDs. After Melly's homie Motor from Jarl City was killed, the gravedigger of Chirac started getting reckless. With so many people close to him dead, and so many bodies under his own belt, Melly started to get out of control. His reputation in the streets made him a little too comfortable, which can only lead to disaster when you've got so many enemies. Yeah, he ends real. up getting into it with a dude named 007 Nate from Taekwon World. 007. Game. Melly responded by shooting up Nate's house while his baby mother and newborn child were inside. No one was hit, but it was enough for Nate to seek revenge. In September 2019, Melly attended a house party that was being thrown by FBG in Jarl City to celebrate the passing of one of Duck's close homies, Can't Get Right. Melly came through to the party because he was cool with both camps, but they let him know that Ops from TW may be there. Melly must have felt untouchable. That's fried, bro. Like, why do niggas want to go to where they Ops at? Or like, what? Because he came through anyway, knowing there were going to be problems. 007 Nate ended up catching Melly lacking and shot him in front of the entire house full of people, with Whoa. the whole thing being captured on camera. This time, Melly would not be as lucky and died that night. Melly will go down as one of the most fierce. That's karma, bro. That's karma. You should love a nigga baby mama house with his kid there. Shooters in the history of Chicago. He was so well known in the city that media outlets would often refer to him as a rapper, even though he never dropped a single track. He did inspire countless diss songs, which only helped build his reputation in the streets. But when That's you live that dog. lifestyle for too long, there are only two outcomes, death or jail. No the wild thing is that with all the bodies that 051 Melly caught, what got him killed was a random shooting where no one was even hit. But in the end, it was payback for all the other dirt he did in the street, and his memory will live on as a feared but respected shooter. So if y'all enjoyed that reaction, man, make sure y'all smash the like button. We got a lot more reactions on the way. It's your boy Say. See you guys another day. We're on the road to 100K. Let me for dead and now I'm the one Can't trust little cuz, I'm bringing a gun Living too fast, it used to be fun My mama just asked if I'm seeing my son I'm in the trenches, I live in the birds My eyes just call me, she reading